Well, Jane Ace finally opened her first checking account with the hundred dollars Mr. Ace gave her. After a day of practicing writing checks, she's prepared to pay her household expenses by check. Although she claims she gets too nervous to sign her name when the check is for more than ten dollars. This episode takes place late afternoon at the Ace's bungalow, where we find Jane writing a check at her desk with Laura the maid standing by. Listen. Now, maybe you better hurry, because the man's been waiting at the back door now for almost five minutes. I know, Laura, but don't rush me. I'm doing the best I can. How much did you say we owe him? Three dollars and fifteen cents. Yes, I got that part right. Paid to the order of Deluxe Taylor Shop, three dollars and fifteen one hundred cents. Yes, ma'am. I'd better take it <clears throat> to the back door and give it to well, him. Well, just a minute, Laura. Don't grab. But it's been five minutes, ma'am, since you started to write. I know. And I just hold your horse. I just want to make sure it's neat. All the others I gave checks today, waiters, the tailor can wait. Well, shall I go tell him it'll only be a few minutes? No, no, I'll be doing a jitney. I still don't know why they have the word no printed up in this right-hand corner. Where, ma'am? Right here. I showed you it's on all of them. No. See it? Oh, yes, ma'am. I wonder why. I don't know. It just says no. N-O, period, no. Well, I declare. Well, I'll just do like I did on all the other checks I gave out today. I just passed out no and wrote in yes. Oh, yes, ma'am. That's nice. Then I'll scratch out no and write in yes. There. Now, how's that? Oh, that's nice, ma'am. Shall I take it back to him now? Now, wait, I have to sign it. It's not a check without my name on it. Jane. Eight. There, see? Yes, ma'am. Can I take it back to him now? Yes, I guess so. Now, just a minute, I'll tear it out. Gee, I've written so many of these, I feel like I've written a book. I have almost written the whole book of them. Here you are, Laura. Yes, ma'am. I'll take it back to the... Oh, somebody's at the door, Laura. Uh, never mind, I'll go. You go back and give him the check. Yes, ma'am. Now, one of these dishes. I never thought so much... How do you do, Mrs. Ethel? Oh, hello, Mrs. Schultz. Come in. Thank you. You're just in time, Mrs. Schultz. I am? Yes. Just in time for what? For a check. That's why I asked you to come over today. I want to give you a check for my butcher bill last week. Oh, is that what it was? I was wondering why you... Yes, I'm going to write a check from now on instead of paying you the money. Oh, is that so? Uh, thank you, Mrs. Basil. Uh, you're welcome. The reason I had you come here is because I just started writing these checks this morning. I never wrote a check before, and I don't know if I could write one unless I was sitting here at my desk. So I thought if you didn't mind, you could come oh, over. Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Davis. I don't mind. No, indeedy. Well, sit down, Mr. Schultz. I'll write it for you now. It takes me a little time. I'm not used to writing. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Oh, uh, here's my bill. You asked me to bring it with me. Oh, yes. I have to know how much. Uh, let me see it. Uh, yes, ma'am. A Twelve dollars and eighty cents. Twelve dollars and eighty cents. Now, just sit right down over there, Mr. Schultz, and I'll write the... Oh, well, dollars. What's the matter, Mrs. Ace? Isn't that right? What? Uh, don't you think we made a mistake, you think? Oh, no. Uh, no, it's no mistake, but it's about the $12. You see, I can't write a check for more than $10. You can't write a check for more than $10? No, I'm sorry, but I can't. Well, I'm sorry to hear you're financially embarrassed, Mrs. Ace. Well, I... I am a little embarrassed about it, but I tried to write one today for more than $10, and I just couldn't. You haven't got the money? No, no money anymore. Just check. Well, what good are checks without money, Mrs. Ace? What good? Why, they're just the same as money. Everybody knows that. Yeah, but if you haven't got the money in the bank, Mrs. Aces, they are not the same as money. Oh, I have got money in the bank. You have got money in the bank? Oh, yes. But not more than $10. Not more than $10? Who says so? I'll have you understand I put $100 in the bank yesterday. I've got plenty of money left even if I did write all these checks. How can you say yeah, But, that? Mrs. Aces, didn't you just... Tell me that you can't write a check for more than ten dollars. Yes, and I can't. Why not? Because it gets me nervous. Nervous? What gets you nervous? It gets me nervous if I write a check for more than ten dollars. Well, I should so say. I, I should see too. I should say it would get you nervous to write a check for more than ten dollars if you can't. Well, that's the way I get. Uh, then will you have more than ten dollars? Oh, I've got more than ten dollars in the bank. Uh, of course I have. No. Well, then why can't you write me a check for twelve dollars and eighty cents? I told you, Mr. Jones, it gets me nervous. 
I try it, and it makes me very nervous to write a check for more than $10. Ah, do leave us. Look, Mrs. Aces, please. And stop I... calling me Mrs. Aces. It's Ace. Yes, look. You talk I... like you got squirrel seed. You ought to know my name after all this time I've been buying Mrs. Aces, please. You are making me very nervous. I am? Well, now you got it. That's the way I get when I have to write a check for more than $10. It's just a nervous affection, and I can't help it. I get nervous because I remember how much money it is, and I can't write it. Excuse me, please. Could you write a check for one dollar? For one dollar? Oh, sure. I've written a lot of checks today for and one. And could you write a check for five dollars? Yes, I wrote checks for five, and on I wrote... six and seven, on eight, on nine? Yes, it's on only... On ten dollars, Mrs. Aces? Could you write a check for ten dollars? Yes, I can for ten dollars, too. It's only when it gets over ten dollars. Good. Now we come to it. When you have to write for more than ten dollars, you get nervous. That is it? Yes, sir. And my bill is twelve dollars and eighty cents. Is that right? Yes, and I can't write a check for more than. But 10. you can write a check for ten dollars. Yes, I told you I could. And you could also write a check for two dollars and eighty cents. Yes, but what the whole that got to do with twelve dollars and eighty cents? I'll take two checks. Two? Yes, one check for ten dollars and one check for two dollars and eighty cents, and that makes twelve dollars and eighty cents. Oh, I see what you That's mean. That's wonderful. Uh -huh. Now, if you please, Mrs. Aces, I am a very busy man, and I've left my shop with only my wife there. Oh, yes. Well, I'll buy it for you now. That's cute the way you figured it out. One for $10 and one for $2.80. It just comes out even, doesn't it? Well, uh, just sit down, please, Mr. Schultz, and I'll write them out for yes, you. Yes, Mrs. Aces. Uh, Mrs. Aces. Oh, yes, Laura, what is it? The paper boy's here. Well, tell him to leave the paper. What's the matter with it? He has to get paid today, ma'am. Oh, yes. This is the end of his week, isn't it? Uh, well, he'll have to wait, Laura. Tell him to come in and wait. I'm writing some checks for Mr. Schultz. Yes, ma'am. Boys, come in here. Um, paid to the order of Schultz. Wait Meet. in here, oh. boy. I'm, I'm a little in a hurry. Well, it won't take too long. Boys, come in here. Um, paid... To the order of Schultz. Wait Meet. in here, oh. boy. I'm, I'm in a little in a hurry. Well, it won't take too long. All I want is my 14 cents. That's all I well, want. Well, you will have to wait for Mrs. A. Uh, Laura, to... please, not so much noise. I can't think of what I'm writing. Well, I was only explaining to the boy, man. Oh, well, uh, hello, boy. Sit down, please. Mrs. Ailes, if you please, I must get back to oh, my... Oh, yes. Well, I'll be through in just a minute. Uh, sit down, boy. Oh, well, this is Mr. Schultz, boy. Mr. Schultz, this is the paper boy. Hi, Schultz. If you please, Mrs. Ailes. I, I am, and don't call me Aces. Here, here's one check for $10. Thank you. Now, if you will please make out my other check. I will... Oh, I forgot. Now, wait a minute. These checks cost me 10 cents a piece. 10 cents? Yes, the bank charged me 10 cents a check. So what? So I'm losing 10 cents by writing an extra check. Well, did I ask you to write two checks? Yes, you did. I did. You said you got nervous writing a check for more than $10. Yes, and you said I could write two checks. Because you owe me $12.80. But I'll make this one for two dollars and seventy cents. Seventy cents. Don't go and blitz and it's eighty cents, Mrs. Avel. It's Mrs. Avel. And it's eighty cents. But why should I pay the extra ten cents that the bank charges me? Is it my fault if the bank charges you ten cents a check? Well, no, but they do and somebody has to pay for it. Well, if that's somebody me. Well, who is it then? Not me. It's your bill. And my bill is twelve dollars and eighty cents if you write fifty checks. Oh, no, Mr. Schultz. Mrs. Avel? My name is Ace. Hey, you. Kids, I'm in a hurry. I want my 14 cents. Just a minute, little boy. Mr. Schultz is ahead of you. Well, how long is it going to take him to get him straightened out? I'll give you $2.70 more, Mr. Schultz. Mrs. Avery, please. I'll just I... back out this no and write in yes. I never heard of 10 cents a check. Well, I didn't either, but either. But this bank charges 10 cents a check. 10 cents a check. 10 cents a check. Da -da -da -da. Boy, please, I'm writing a check. Mrs. Avery, I tell you, it is $12.80. Jane, Aces, there. I signed my name. It's too late. There's your check. You still owe me ten cents. Well, I hate to get sarcastic, Mr. Schultz, but oh, yes? Yeah. We will see about that. Good day, Mrs. Aces. I told you my name is Ace. Just wait, Mrs. Aces, till you come to my shop. Ten cents a check. Oh, Schultz. I 
never had so much trouble in my life since I started this check writing today. Every check I wrote, something happened. I'd come to collect for the evening paper. Fourteen cents. Oh, yes, yeah, fourteen cents. Well, I won't have any trouble writing that. Uh, what's your name, boy? Kenneth. But looky, I've got a lot more houses to collect from and then go down and pick up my route. So if you'll just give me 14 cents, I'll... Uh, Kenneth what, little boy? Looking, I haven't got time to play games. Kenneth what? Kenneth O'Day. But, uh, O'Day? But looky, please. What? I... Little boy, I've got to write this check and I don't want to make any mistakes. Bad enough to have to pay 10 cents for a 14 cent check. Oh, I forgot to cross this no out and write in yes. I wonder why they put no on all these checks. How about my 14 cents? I'm writing the check now. 14 and no cents. I ain't gonna take no bum check. Can I never say bum? I want my 14 cents. I don't want no check. Well, this check is just the same as 14 cents. I won't take your check. Why not? My business is cash. How do I know your check's any good? Well, you've got a lot of check talk. I mean, your cheek talking like that. This check is as good as the day it was born. It's just a piece of paper to me. Paper? Yeah, paper. That's all it is. Oh, yes? Well, what do you leave here every night? Paper? Oh, yes? Well, you can read my paper. Well, you can read this paper and it's money to stop. <laughs> well, we pity a certain bank teller when Jane's many checks start coming through. We'll learn about that when next we meet the Easy Aces. 